Matthew Corbett interview show. The interview show which likes to get underneath the surface and ask you, the viewer, how you feel about being interviewed. <laughs> Relax, it's not only me, it's Matthew. I'm not going to interview you. But actually, I do have to get some practice because I've seen this advert, you see, from Thames Television. They're looking for new television announcers and presenters and things, so uh, I'm going for a job in television. I've got to see a lady this afternoon, so I've got to get some practice at interviewing. Ah, here's Sooty. Now, I can interview him. And how do you feel about school dinners? Fascinating. And what do you think about the price of sweeties? <clears throat> so there we have it. This is Matthew Corbett for Thames Television. Good night. How exciting! A job in television, you say, Sushi? Oh, imagine actually being paid for doing something, well, which must be as easy as falling off a log. What? You're right, Sooty. It must be easy if Matthew's going for it. Oh, I'd love to be on TV, wouldn't you? How about you, Sweep? You're not sure? What do you have to do? When you're on TV, well, you can do all sorts of things. I mean, you can sing, dance, play a musical instrument. Hey, why don't we pretend that we're on TV now? You two go over there and I'll introduce you one at a time. And then you come on and do something in front of the camera. Which camera? Well, the pretend television camera. Where is it? Where's what? Oh, the pretend television camera. Well, I don't know. Um, well, let's pretend it's... Yes, let's pretend it's there, straight in front of us. Yes, just there. Yes, sweep a TV camera, just there. Can you wave to it? Go on, then. Let's all do it. Hello. 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 That's enough. That's enough. Sweet. You go on over there and I'll come on from over the other side and introduce you. Just imagine that you're on TV, right? OK. And the camera's just there, right? OK. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome to Panda's Night Out bringing you the very brightest and best in the world of TV. And first tonight, I would like to introduce an international star who has recently appeared in front of the Queen, the Prince of Wales and the Duchess of Kent and many more hotels. Please welcome that tip-top, tap-dancing bear, Sooty! Hooray! and dance. Okay. <coughs> and so, it's onward, onward. Time is money in television. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the singing, dancing sensation of the decade, Sweep. Come on, Sweep. could be a television personality, is he, Sooty? No. Well, come on, then. Let's go and see him, shall we? Thank you for being so honest, Prime Minister. Ah, of course. This is the answer, isn't it? Because this is the video age. So I've decided to record... to record myself doing an interview. Then I can play it to this lady that I'm going to see later on. Hello, Chris. Matthew. Oh, Anything I... more about your future in the world of TV? Well, no, not exactly, but I have decided something. I'm going to record it. So, um, how do you fancy being on television? Oh, you bet. We've just spent the last few minutes pretending, but this is the real thing. I'm in. How about you, sweet? Okay. Well, look, I've got a list of questions here compiled. And I've got... <gasps> what? 
What's the matter? What's wrong? What's wrong? Well, well, well I can't go on camera like this. Well, why, why not? I'm not dressed properly. Are Come you? on, sweep. <laughs> You're gonna sing? He says he's gonna stay and sing. <laughs> well, look, Apparently, he won't stay and sing. Never mind, it'll give me time to make one or two adjustments. Oh, hi, Sooty. Listen, uh, Sue and Sweep have just disappeared down there because they say they're not dressed properly. However, I don't suppose it will affect you since you always appear bare anyway. <sighs> Apparently, he's disappeared as well. They're really getting into this being on television, aren't they? Right, let's get washed. <laughs> This is hopeless. Come on, back to the bath, boys. Come on. Now, look, it's no good rushing to the sink all at once, is it? No. Right. We'll just have to make things easier. Now, I'll have a shower, OK? Right. Let's get washed. Go oh, on. Oh, sweet. What are you doing? You decided you'll have a shower? Well, oh, look, let's get back to the bath. Come on. Now then, listen to me, listen. It's too crowded for us all to get washed in the sink, and it's too crowded for us all to get into the shower. Therefore, where's the only place left that we can all get washed? Look down. Down here. Ready? OK. Let's get washed. <laughs> all nice and squeaky clean, sweep. Let me check. Mm, yes, not bad. You enjoy interviewing you. Who? Matthew? Oh, I wouldn't bank on it, Sweep. To be honest, I think he'd be wasting his time talking to either of you two. Well, I'm sorry to have to say this, Sooty, but I believe it. I think it's me that he'll be talking to, and rightly so. I mean, it's me, for example, who has the flair for dressing, isn't it? And if you look good, you're part way there, aren't you? Now, if I wear my red dress with a little puff sleeves and matching shoes, I'm sure Matthew will want to interview me. You're going to get changed? OK. Or shall I wear the little green number with the sequins? Maybe that dress will persuade Matthew to choose me. What? You'll be back in a minute. Oh, all right, sweet. No, 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 neither of those two dresses. They're far too formal. I think I'll wear a plain black dress. Goodness, Sooty, you do look smart. Oh, evening dress. If you look good, you're part way there. Well, I couldn't have put it better myself. But to be honest, I don't think you're interview material. <coughs> Hello. Sweep, you're wearing my dress. <coughs> How does it look? <coughs> well, it's very nice, but I mean... <coughs> if you look good, you're part way there. <coughs> Matthew will want to interview you. Sweep, if you walk around like that, the police will want to interview you. Wear your own clothes. You like that? Well, it's mine, so wear your own clothes and take that off. You want to keep it on? Well, in that case, come in here. There's a little improvement I can make. Uh, excuse me, Sooty. There we are. You can wear your clothes and my clothes. When you look good, you're part way there. Sweep, you look as if you've been there and you're now on your way back. <laughs> Hello, good welcome and evening. No, that's not right, is it? Good welcome, hello. No, that's not right. I, oh, no, I forget it. Oh, oh, hi, you three. Hi. Hello. Hey, look at this. Look, Sue, in a little black cocktail dress with little pearls. Mm. Smash. Sooty an evening dress. It looks fantastic. Sweep! <coughs> what have you come as, please? <coughs> if you look good, you're halfway there. Oh, ignore him, Matthew. Perhaps he'll go away. Yes, you could be right. Look, whilst you've been away, I've decided that I don't want to interview you all at once. I thought I'd interview you one at a time uh, and get a real in-depth feel. You know, a, a, a real close feel. So who wants to be interviewed? <coughs> Me, 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 all right, me, me. all right, let me tell you what I feel. I think that, uh, Sooty, since you only whisper, <gasps> and Sweep, since you only go, <laughs> I think I'll interview Sue. Mm, okay. I told you so. 
Yeah. What, Sooty? That's not fair. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but that's just the way things are, okay? So you go and play over there. Go on, off you go, off you go. Now then, Sue, what do you think I should... Ah, uh, no need to be rude, thank you. Tell you what you can do. Sweet, would you get on the camera and uh, drop it into record, see what the shot's like, okay? All right, Sue, what, what shall I talk to you about, do you think? Oh, well, you choose, Matthew. You're the expert. <laughs> thank you very much. Okay, I will. I've got, I've got a few questions here. Uh, Sooty, what does the uh, what does the shot look like? Was it what's it look like? Oh, wait, what is the shot like? Is, is the shot okay? Is it is it okay? Right, jolly good. Uh, now you two can leave. Sooty and Sweet both leave now. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Okay, leave. Right, Sue, here we go. <coughs> Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Matthew Corbett interview. And tonight we turn our attention to the vexed question of string. And with me in the studio is Miss Sue, who is something of an expert in string. And uh, perhaps you would like to tell me, first of all, how long have you been interested in string? Oh, about 27 inches, Matthew. 27 inches. Well, just let me do the jokes, all right? Just answer the questions, all right, Sue? Now, as a small pander, it was you who were interested in rapier, am I right? Well, I did. As a matter of fact, it has been said in my team of researchers, the very fact this, you were responsible for the famous rapier connection. Do you have any comment? Of course, headline news a couple of years ago was that you had a song called Land of Smoke and Glory, which was denied, you remember? Your book, of course, was entitled, Are You a Smart Piece of String? No, I'm afraid not. And of course, the famous book that you have written on are Duke of the Obscure, is that true? Also, the Stringberg Diaries, is that true? And String Along with Max. Apart from that, my researchers have told me there's very little else to talk to you about string because it's an extremely boring subject. Do you have any comment? Yes. And so there we have it. This is Matthew Corbett for the Matthew Corbett interview. Good night. <laughs> Sue, Sue, how, 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 how did you think that I did? Well, you... well, you were masterful, Matthew. Really? In really? fact, I don't think I would be exaggerating if I were to say that I've never seen an interviewing technique like yours. Oh, Sue, you're too kind. Hey, look at the time, look at the time. I'd better get my video cassette and take it down to the television studios, otherwise I'd be late. I'd better get down there straight away. Hello? Hello? Sorry, sorry. <coughs> Are you Mrs. Fontenby Smythe, the television producer? Oh, love me, certainly not. My name's Mrs. Bucket. Well, I had to change from Mrs. Mop. Here, I'm the cleaner. Oh, here. Right, what? What do you want with old Fontenby Smythe? Well, I've come here to do, uh, what's it called? Not, not, an, uh, not an interview. Audition. An oh, audition. Oh, no, you're in the wrong room. Right, thank you. Mind right. you. Right. You'd what? be better off letting me give you some advice. You? I mean, those producers, oh, they know nothing. Yes, well, thank you very much, but I, uh, I really think I ought to do this audition in front of, you know, like cameras and huh? microphones, things uh, like that. So yeah, well, that's no problem. Oh, no problem. Why? Wait, come on, me old mate. Just, just, there they are. just a minute, that, that, that's sooty and, and that's sweet. Yeah, well, everyone knows that. But what they don't know is that he is a dab hand on the old camera and he is an ace on the old microphone boom. What? So, into position, lads. Come on, we'll help this fella out a bit. Now then, what? why don't you sit yourself down there, Sonny? Here, no, no, yes, no, 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 look, 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 look. I, now, I, there's no need to thank me. Plenty of time for that later. Now, Sooty, I want a nice big close-up shot, so bring your camera in. Oh, yes, he's a clever little bear, then. He's a natural. Now, sweep, bring your microphone in nice and close. <laughs> oh, yes, nice work, boys. Now, how does that feel? Well, it feels a little bit odd, to be honest. <laughs> oh, it would to you, cos you're inexperienced. Yes. But I've been a cleaner here for years, and I keep my eyes open, I do. You... Now, watch this. Let's have the close-up shots, boys. Close-up? That's probably enough. Just a minute. That's very... That's very... That's very close. Just, just, just a minute. There's, some, some, there's something not quite right here. Oh, uh, you're not wrong there. Now, hang on. I've got some microphone up my nose. Here, yeah, sorry. Sorry, there's something missing. What is it? Oh, yes, that's it. Clever bear. Makeup. Uh, here. 
Uh, you ain't got no makeup on. Uh, come on, pull this stuff back, boys. Uh, then come and give me a hand uh, later. Uh, you ain't got no makeup. Look, 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 look. I, I really, I really don't feel that. Uh, that I mean, Nonsense. I, 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 we all have it done, you know. All they... them big stars, what comes in here, I've seen them all. Uh, I've been nothing without their makeup. Really? Come on. What? Right here we are. What? Now, put your face down there. Yeah. That's it. <sighs> You help? Of course you can help. Uh, look, I really ought to believe me. Oh, don't worry. I mean, uh, if you're what? in a hurry, we can do a really quick job, can't we? Mm -hmm. There you are, Sooty. There you are, sweet. That's it. Now then, quickly, for time is money in television. Mm. Right. There you are. The makeup of the stars. Really? Yes. Can I uh, can I see it in the mirror? Can I... uh, we haven't got any mirrors. Right. Well, you'll have to tell me. Um, how does it look? <laughs> well, let's put it this way. It's yes? surprising the difference it makes, you know. <laughs> oh, great, great. <laughs> what about the powder? <gasps> Sweep, you're right. I'd forget my head if it wasn't screwed on. Now then, Sooty, you can have a go at this. Try out that, my little is, is fella. That, is that from... Is that from... That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Lovely, well done. Yes, it feels oh, very good. What? You look just like Gordon Donovan. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Jason Donovan. No, no, Gordon <laughs> Donovan. Funny little chap. Lives down our street. Suffers from bad skin and ingrown toenails. Really? Yeah. What? Is it time you was off? Yes, yeah. yes, good as me, yes. Wish me luck. <laughs> luck? Yes, yes. You won't need luck where you're going, will you, boy? No. No. If you walk straight into old Fontenby Smythe's office looking like that, yes. you will get a reception you will not forget for a very long time. I will get a reception I will not forget for a very long time. I will get a reception I will not forget. Thank you. For a very long time. You will get a reception that you will not forget for a very long time. Ha! What? Where's Sue? We should left this note. Gone on a guided tour of the television studios. We'll be back soon. <laughs> didn't I get the job? No, I didn't get the job. As a matter of fact, I didn't want the job. Do you know something? I wouldn't work in television if you paid me. Which I gather they don't. What's that? Oh, it's time for the news. Switch the television on. Let's see how the professionals do it, shall we? I do like to watch the news. Sue! Sue News! Look, it's Sue! Stop! Good evening. Today, a new television announcer has been appointed by the senior producer, Miriam Fontenby Smythe. Just I'd like to say thanks was very for. much to Miriam for giving me the job. <clears throat> Sue's got this my job. This new appointment follows earlier ugly scenes at the television studios when an unsuccessful candidate oh. had to be forcibly escorted from yes, the premises. I, I didn't know the word. I didn't know the word. When we saw the ugly scene, we so mean ugly. Hey, Miss Fontenby Smythe! No, 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 I bruise very easily. I'm gonna... What's that? Where? Hey, it's so embarrassing. What are my friends gonna say when they see this? I won't have any friends. True, I won't have any friends. Oh, oh, wow, wow. He was so strong, that man, as well. I, there's nothing I could do. I'm shaking my oh. oh, sorry. What are you doing? This is Help terrible. Me. <laughs> Sweep, I can't watch anymore. Switch it off. Switch it off. Switch it off. So far as I'm concerned, you can keep the world of television. It's a world of fantasy and make-believe. For me, I'm just going to stick to the real world. Sooty, have your milk. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>